Her once luxurious blonde hair has been trimmed short and is concealed beneath the wimple of a conventional um. The moment Laura adds head, a former socialite, made her final solemn profession of vows to become Mother John Mary is captured in our foil. This once troubled woman, isolated in a distant Benedictine Abbey, had struggled for 14 years to reach this milestone. Once David Cameron's lover in a different era, she has subsequently undergone a metamorphosis even more astounding than the British Prime Minister's political comeback. Laura's world is quite different from her former lover's, who is now back at the center of British politics after being nominated for in secretary last week. The 55-year-old, who lives on the remote 400-acre abbey of Regina Lotus in Bethlehem, Connecticut, two hours' drive north of New York City, has dedicated her life to a life of prayer with 39 other sisters. Following years of drug and alcohol abuse, she entered the monastery in 2008, gave up all material belongings, and dedicated herself to a life of silent devotion. Regina Laudis is a closed order, according to another nun, and during Mass, sisters even receive Holy Communion from behind a metal grill to keep them apart from other members of the Church. She is not allowed to speak without authorization, the portress, a nun, informed us. It might take some time for her to apply for leave to speak with outsiders. Cameron and Laura met while they were both Oxford University undergraduates. Laura was born in New Zealand to British parents and was a former student of the £45,000 per year Cheltenham Ladies' College. After that, they worked at Conservative Central Office from the spring of 1990 to the summer of 1991. Reports state that their breakup was so painful for her that she requested a compassionate leave of absence. Laura relocated to America while Cameron ascended the political ladder. She earned a master's degree at the prestigious Wharton School of Business in Philadelphia, and then she was hired as an advertising executive at Manhattan's Ogilvy & Mather, the agency that served as the model for the television show Medmen. However, she sought help from Alcoholics Anonymous, discovered God, and became a novice nun at the monastery after experiencing addiction problems. Making vows is a declaration of love, Laura writes on a page on the Abbey's website dedicated to the final profession of Mother John Mary in October 22. We pledge our allegiance to a specific group of individuals and a community, not to an impersonal concept of monastic life. After taking the risk and landing on the other side, it's beginning to feel a lot like home. Laura gets up at 2 in the morning every day to begin the first of at least six Latin language prayer sessions. She works weekends in the Abbey shop where she sells candles, cheese made from scratch, and wooden bowls crafted from trees that have been felled on the property. In addition, she assists with cleaning stables and caring for her cherished rose garden on the 400-acre dairy farm. Pictures of nuns making cheese, baling hay, and milking cows can be found on the Abbey's website. The first account of Laura's transformation from party girl to nun was in the 2011 Oscar-nominated documentary God is Bigger Than Elvis, which followed the 85-year-old Dolores Hart, another nun at the time. After co-starring with Elvis Presley in the movies Loving You and King Creole, Dolores left Hollywood at the age of 24 to become a nun at Regina Lotus, where she remains to this day. I feel like I tried most things in life that are supposed to make you happy, said Laura, whose theologian father wrote the book Philosophy of Religion in 19th century England and beyond, in the documentary. I fell victim to drug and alcohol addiction as a result of that event. Yes, I can see this world has no real meaning for you anymore, my mother remarked when I told her that I was going to join the Abbey. I saw women here who possessed the things I wanted when I looked around. Here, you choose to give your life up to God. Laura shares a bathroom with other people and lives in a basic room with a wooden bed and a bookcase full of religious books. The Abbey offers a guest house where Laura's former classmate Shelley Sprang once stayed for those looking for peace and serenity. She has that sparkle and the wicked sense of humor she always had, Shelley remarked. We called her the mischievous nun. I won't tell you why. She remembered meeting David Cameron in London's Sloan Square while he and Laura were dating, and he mentioned they would get together for Friday drinks. The only documented occasion Laura left the Abbey was in 2011, when she traveled to New Zealand in the wake of the earthquake that destroyed Christ Church Cathedral, 
the place she and her parents had attended services. In 1996, Cameron wed Samantha Sheffield, 